lucky bag here. It's a really special one. Let me get it out. She just turned into a limp noodle. <laughs> Hi everybody, it's been a really long time. Like almost a year since... Well, actually I posted that one sketchbook video. Yeah, and before that it was like maybe May. Yeah, it feels yeah. like it's been a long time. Stuff from Golden Week. A long time. It has been a while. But, yeah. Happy New Year, first of all. Happy New Year. So, in Japan, there is something called a Fukobukuro, I think. Uh, it's basically translates to a lucky bag. And on January 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, the first week of the year, every store just about has some sort of lucky bag where you buy it for... I don't know, like a reasonable price. Yeah, between 10 and $200 worth, depending on what kind of bag you're buying or the size of it. Mm -hmm. And you're supposed to get more than what you paid for, but you don't know what you're getting, of course. Yeah, it's like a mystery bag. Like a lot of people yeah. do buy those mystery boxes online or whatever. It's, it's like that. You just don't know. So popular ones would be like at the electronic store, Itabashi, they would have a big one and you could get like a game system even. Usually like a returned item, I think. Uh, someone got a... I used computer last year. It was like a, a computer that someone had returned, oh. and here you go. Somebody wants to join us. Someone wants to join us, maybe. Maybe no. Maybe, maybe not. No. Oh. No. Okay. Come here, child. And then they tried to sell it on Facebook afterwards. So that was pretty funny. Yeah. So not only did we buy two lucky bags at two different price points. But we also bought a ton of stuff that was on sale. So just about everything in the art store was really, really on sale. Like good, good prices. So So we went to our local independent art store, uh, Aobagaso in Sendai, mm -hmm. northern Japan. And we got a lot of good stuff. Yeah. So the first lucky bag, or I, honestly, they took the price tags off. So we know we bought one for $30 and the other one for $50. But we don't know which is which anymore. So... Right. I don't know. So we'll start with yours and right. we'll say it was... We'll figure out. We'll, we'll like guess. Or maybe you can help us figure out in the comments which, which is which. Did you get stickers on all of your bags? I... Like the pink stickers? I... They didn't put them on mine, I oh. noticed. So maybe... So maybe this is mine? Maybe that's yours. Okay. Maybe this is mine. Sorry, I partially opened that. Let's try this. So this would be the 3,000 yen, so about... 30 US dollars. Yeah. Um, we also only got the watercolor bags. They had different types of art. They bags. had comic bags, which had like drawing supplies, mm -hmm. uh, markers, like Copic marker kind of stuff, and then like even drawing mannequins. Mm -hmm. And then they also had a uh, watercolor. They had an acrylic bag. They had an oil painting bag, which I'm sure were high value. Okay, it's already pre wrapped. It's wrapped in like clear paper, so it's all. Oh, together. Oh, there's a lot of things. There's a lot. Wow. Some things I already own, but don't mind having two of. So, first is like an il some illustration board. This is really popular here. Really? Yeah. People either like do cards on this or they, you know, do their little character designs and stuff. Are you sure this one? Uh, I'm curious to know if this one's really this dirty or not. I don't know. Then some... I mean, what's yours is mine, mine is yours. Is true. Yours. Some Archie's watercolor and post postcard size. Yeah. Looks like more like a sampler set, right? It mm -hmm. does, yeah. It's okay. That's all right. It's fun. It. Maybe some also some, some, some more samples. Some more samples that are like... You can paint the parrot that's already <laughs> drawn for you. Paint the parrot, kids. Anyways. Different oh, papers. hey. A lot Um, more... Tester paper. Oh, yeah. A Watson book. I actually have bought this before and I really liked it. This is $10 alone. Yeah. Oh, they had the price tags on the That's cool. special things. Oh, yes. I love this. I, um, what is it? It's that shimmery watercolor. Oh, like a pearlescent watercolor. Yeah, I own green. like two of these and I love them. Um, I wouldn't have picked green on my own, but maybe I'll do some stuff with that. Use it for that parrot. Yeah, I could use it for the parrot. Look out. That was about $4. Some Strathmore paper. I love Strathmore paper. About $5. Then a... Watercolor sketchbook? Sketchbook, From yeah. From Holbein. From Holbein. Which, That's I don't nice. know if you know this, I always assumed it was a German brand. Apparently it's a... 
Japanese brands this whole time. We had no idea. I have no idea. Then, uh... uh... It's more watercolor people. It's an... Asotobak. An assortment, maybe. Asotobak. Yeah, so there's a little bit of all of their stuff in there. And oh, then, what are your favorite brands? I actually wanted to try this brand really bad. Oh. I've not tried this before. But my pin just like this was dying, so this oh, is perfect. 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 Cool. Okay, my turn. Alright, what'd you get? It's already open because Caitlin opened it. I'm already. sorry. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, this, this has to be the 50. It has to be. I think I got the same things, but oh, I see. I no, see. no, you I got, see why you're saying that. Yeah. Okay. So whereas Caitlin and her bag for thirty dollars got <laughs> should use the knife. That's all right. Two so, little stuffers. First of all, I got the same kind of paint, but I it's a it. gold one, so it's pearlescent gold. Is this what you already have? Do you I don't have that color. Okay, well, perfect. You can have it. I don't know if I'll use it. I might, I might use it sometimes so on like pretty. wheels on cars. Love it. Uh, and then I've got some Hanamura Cezanne cotton rag postcards, which I almost bought a bigger one. And we also already have the Hanamura uh, bamboo, the 100% bamboo paper, and we love it. Yeah. So yeah. It's really nice. I almost bought a sketchbook of that. It's so light. And then more samples, postcard size. I don't know. Oh, also, this was worth, for those keeping track at home, 750 yen, so about $7.50, $7. 7 bucks. And then this is the expensive thing. Yep. 20 sheets of Arches watercolor paper, cold pressed. Oh, you got your money's worth. I got my money's worth. It priced at Gaso for 6,800 yen. So that's almost $70. Yeah, almost $70. And they're usually, what we found about our art store is that they generally have really great prices. Yeah. Like cheaper than any of the department stores, cheaper than Amazon most they're of the time. Anywhere from like three to ten dollars cheaper. Unless it's like a, a, an okay pen, like just like a normal writing pen, mm -hmm. then they're cheaper. Yeah, I think you got your money's worth. What do you I guys think, so. think in the comments? I didn't say all the prices of mine because. You can't the actually, they don't have the prices. Do you see one on this? This was it doesn't seem. about five. This was about three. This was about seven. This was like ten. And then how much is this? Oh, five. 30. Four. So you got just about your money's worth. Basically, like, just on the dot, I think. But it's all stuff I've either purchased before or wanted more of, so. Yeah. Works. Perfect. Works great. So we didn't luck out. Well, we kind of lucked out, but we didn't necessarily, like, not luck out. We didn't bomb either, so. No. It was fun. It was That's worth fun. it. It's not like I regret it. <laughs> and Let's then see. if you want to know what we bought normally, keep watching. Yeah. So. I did a re purchase of a Strathmore watercolor book. I love this watercolor book. Hold on, I gotta let the cat out of the bag. <laughs> Our cat jumps in the bag. Anyways, this is probably my third or fourth of this exact book, and I like it. It was four bucks cheaper today, so. Yeah, 25% off on yeah. sketchbooks, watercolor paints, oil paints, acrylic paints. Yeah. So I was like, can't, can't skip out on that. That's a I got something else too, didn't I? Where's my little watercolor? <laughs> I just got another um, cake pan. Cake pan. Pan thing. cake. The uh, Prussian blue for my Windsor and Newton. Yeah. Travel watercolor case. Your Cotman. Yeah. Speaking of which, I got one myself. Got a new Cotman by Windsor Newton watercolor travel sketch case thing. Uh, I had one that I liked that I bought used for super cheap and it had barely been used. 
but it tends to leak if I use it for too long. Yeah. But this one, Caitlin's been using, and uh, one of our friends also got one, Womack. So mm -hmm. I'm excited to actually use one that's well designed. I'm excited for you to have it too. It's always really, I like when we use the same materials or something because I like to see what he does with it because then it helps me think out of the box than what I'm normally yeah. used to doing. So this is also 25% off. And mm -hmm. like I said, I this kind of thing is also one of the things that's cheaper at our store. That's really nice. Mm -hmm. It's nice to be able to support locally and not feel, not have your wallet feel too guilty about it. Yeah. Okay. A giant thing of Dalarani, Dalarani, Dalarani. <laughs> uh, the Langton, it says not cold pressed grain fin. Grain fin. But I don't know if that means it's not cold pressed or if that means it is cold pressed because I'm, uh, yeah. But what's nice about this paper is that it's glued, it's a block of watercolor paper and it's glued at all the corners. Or like not at the corners, at all the edges. So it's like pre-stretched, so I don't have to worry about working too much. Yeah. Uh, I'd like to try it out and see. It was, it's, it's originally uh, it was like sixty dollars. Sixty-five, yeah. But he got it for like twenty-five dollars. So it's crazy. It's crazy. Uh, just a gum eraser, like a need needed eraser, I think. Um, yeah. And then, which I don't think was on sale. And this wasn't on sale either, but it's like a, a lead holder, like they use in architecture or sketching. But it's got really fat graphite that's for sketching. And it also came in 4B and 6B and everything. So I got a 4B thing of that. And then I also got a Watson block. So the difference between a sketchbook and a block is that a block is meant to not be perforated. It's glued mm -hmm. and bound instead of like spiral bound. So you can tear out the paper fine. Uh, so I'll use it as a sketchbook, but then the pieces will be like separate pieces. For, for Christmas day as well, we went to the yeah, art store and Caitlin spent all of her Christmas money or most of her Christmas <laughs> money at the art store. And I just bought like, <laughs> One brush that day. Yeah, I, so. well, I didn't buy that much. Where I actually spent my money is I went shopping yesterday. I bought a whole bunch of clothes that I really needed. So. <laughs> I also got another, I got a Strathmore book like mm -hmm. Caitlin's. I'm uh, obsessed. But it's also a block like this one too. So it's kind of halfway bound, but it's not permanently bound. I'll have to bring tape with me. Also, John Mark has been working on the exact same sketchbook for almost a year. He just finished it the other day. So if you want to see like a sketchbook tour of that, let him know in the comments. That's probably why. Do you think that's why you got so many? Yeah, because I'm, I'm ready to work on another sketchbook. <laughs> He's so excited. So I tried to not get two books that are too, that have too many pages. Yeah, yeah. The last one was a panoramic book and I tried to use both sides of the paper and it was just yeah. it was a lot. It's a lot of work. Your thing this, and then we'll do uh, you're right. Yeah, Alright, got this. Or no, that's this too. That's this too. Okay, so at the same time today, like during today's event, event at the store, um, after you finish purchasing your items, you could take your receipt upstairs. You spend so much money, yeah. Yeah, and then you could pull like um, like a little ticket out of a box, and they were for like bigger prizes, and then some were just like door prizes, like everybody got it. So you can win like a really nice Windsor and Newton. Yeah. A uh, watercolor, professional watercolor kit. You, you could have won a, like a laminator, yeah. a tea set. It's really like practical things and then really not so practical but yeah. fun things too. <laughs> yeah. A lot, of, a lot of different eco bags, like yeah. reusable bags. This was just kind of like the everybody got it door price thing. Oh, but I still... price. <laughs> if you spend <laughs> I enough still... money, you get something. I still don't haven't looked in it though. You got one too. Go ahead. I got, we got three of those actually. I'm curious about this thing. I'm not sure if it's a brush. Oh, it's their store pen. That's actually kind of nice. Oh, it's nice. I always need pens. Yeah, I'll take that to work. A little notebook with uh, a calendar on it and their telephone number. I think this one's a full calendar, but they're holding. Oh, it's very nice. Oh, yeah. That's very nice. It's an art calendar. I will totally use this. Well, that's pretty. Great. I was gonna buy one of these um, from like Daiso or something, but this is great. I'm the art teacher after all. Yeah. Take it away. 
I'll put this up in the air room. That's great. I love it. I got one too. Actually, I got. Actually, I, got I went and got it because he sent me upstairs. He's like, go get me another one. And I was like, because we've made several separate purchases. And <laughs> I was like, okay. Another one. What's the other thing you got? He actually did win like a prize, right? The other thing that I got was a giant A3 size sketchbook. So this is like the one of the cheaper Japanese brands of sketchbooks. It's still nice though. It was either the sketchbook or the croquis book, which means sketchbook. But uh, This is what he won. He won this. Yeah, so this one actually has nicer paper. The other one would have had more paper. This is like a... What weight is this? It doesn't... Oh, 126 grams. So... For example, our watercolor I would, I paper. I watercolor on it. My no, kids no, no, watercolor no. on this in, in classes, and it just never holds up. No, so like our watercolor paper is mostly like 300, between 250 and 400 grams probably. Uh, this is only 126, so it's like nice, it's like lightweight drawing paper. Mm -hmm. Not like lightweight, not like printer paper, but like medium weight drawing paper. Yeah. So not a bad price. I'll use it at school for sure. Cool beans. So now our challenge is to actually make something. So please let us know if you <laughs> want us to make anything, we're open. Also, hey, we have one more announcement. Do we? If you've been wanting to purchase our art, you can now go do that at kateandjohnmark.com. I forgot about this, but yes, indeed, this is true. <laughs> mm. uh, if you could actually check out the link in the description below. John Mark has been working on building an artist website for us uh, for like almost six months straight. Like every night after work, he's been working on this. So I'm very proud of you. Thank you so much for building that. Yeah, my pleasure. Yeah. Uh, but really though, if you do look at our website and you have some good comments or critiques, uh, shoot me an email, let me know in the comments below how I can contact you, find me on Instagram, uh, some way, and we'll figure out an exchange for some good critiques, okay? Yeah, so you'll be able to purchase our art on there, both prints for a reasonable price or the original works for also, I think, at a reasonable <laughs> price. <laughs> um, or you can just kind of scan through and see what we've been working on for this past year, so we would really appreciate it, guys. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. See ya. <laughs>